Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Sal from Super Pickers. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to finding treasure across the United States. We hunt storage lockers, flea markets, eBay auctions, and anything that'll give us a shot at some great treasure. My girlfriend Carly and myself travel all over the place finding treasure and unique things and we decided to film it all and bring it to you so that you could enjoy it with us. On this episode, we are opening up a storage locker that we bought in Woodstock, Georgia. Um, we have no idea what's in it. Um, we won the auction for $210. Uh, we're excited to get in there. We're excited to see if it has any treasure or it's a total loser. Um, as always, anything in there that's uh, kitchen appliances, anything for like houses or anything, we donate that off to shelters. Anything clothing related, we donate all of that off to shelters. Um, everything else we keep and we sell in our online stores. So without further ado, let's enter the unit. So check out this unit. Looking at it online, we were really excited about it because it had a lot of boxes. We didn't know what was gonna be in the unit. Um, U-Haul boxes are always a good sign. These boxes are actually expensive. They cost about eight or nine dollars for one of the U-Haul boxes, so maybe there's some treasure in there. Um, as always, if we find any like, you know, uh, family photos, birth certificates, social security cards, anything like that related to the family, we'll try our best to track them down and give them all that stuff for free. Or if it's anything, you know, of just a lot of sentimental value, uh, we'll, we'll track down the family and give that back to them for free. So let's get in there. First box, first thing we look at in there. Okay, we got a bunch of used shoes, so that's absolutely nothing, you know. We're going to give that to a shelter, see if anybody can do anything with that, you know. Okay, get them in here. Oh, who knows what's in here? Hopefully not that bug. Okay, so we got a lot of clothes so far. So... In the bottom of the clothes, there's a lot of hangers. You can look in here. This is kind of like, you know, atypical of what you find in one of these units. It, you know, if you found treasure in every single one of these, you know, everybody would do it. So, you know, this looks like a whole bunch of clothing and hangers. So we're gonna take all of this. We're gonna dump all of this off at the shelter or the Goodwill. We support both. Keep Americans working with the Goodwill. All right. Okay, further in there. Okay, looks like more clothing. So that's a bummer to see, you know, nothing's exciting with clothing, shoes, things of that nature. So again, another box for Goodwill. boxes out so this looks like more clothing bedding so again donating a lot of it is really you know gonna be donating or taking a risk this is a, a, a gamble every single time that you get one of these units so I don't know what this is it's a horrible little table probably gonna take that to the Goodwill as well There is a lot in this unit. I don't know if you can see, but like the unit goes far back and it is deep and stacked and packed to the back. And then there's furniture back there. So I'm excited to see what's in there. Okay, again, clothing. Okay, some sort of electronics in there. I mean, antiquated, like look, this has the Goodwill price on at 525, and you know what? That'll save the Goodwill some time because they can just resell it for 525. So again, just, you know, all, all clothes. 
a little dog toy there. That's fun. Give that to the Goodwill toys. Alright, let's see. Daryl's albums, master bedroom, and gay's clothes. So hopefully gay's clothes are fabulous. That would be nice, some nice expensive stuff. Oh, that does not look fabulous. And Daryl's albums are in fact not in this. So that is a bummer. That is socks. That is that is just gonna go right in the trash. Nobody wants socks. Nothing too promising yet. Lots of clothes. Again, clothes, 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 bedding, clothes. So the Goodwill's going to get a nice donation pile, and I'm going to get a nice workout carrying these 50 pound boxes. But this is what it's all about. So. Open. Yeah, this is the risk. This is, you know, this is like putting your money in a slot machine or anything else. You just, you know, hope to be a little calculated. And nasty stained up leather jacket. Gross. All clothes. opening them up. This feels like clothes again. I don't feel anything too promising in here. No Dutch gold, no Andy Warhol paintings. Normal people use knives. I'm not normal, so. Oh, God. That's a stained up blanket. Some art. Some knickknacks in there. Some old blocks. Looks like toys. A helmet. A Hannah Montana safety helmet. I should put this helmet on for buying this unit because I'm special, but I'd probably get head lice and that sucks. Oh, on, on, on. Wow. So far, not too promising. So we really don't uh, don't hope for too much. Okay. Maybe all the good Chair. stuffs in the back. Maybe the good stuff might be in the back. <laughs> Carly's hopeful, and I like that. I'm hopeful. When you wish upon a star, 20 boxes of clothing so far. Oh, it's like my clothes. Let's open it like Christmas morning. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Oh, bedding and more clothes. <laughs> so we're gonna. Ew, that one's so funky. <laughs> Ew, a tie-dye. Everything tie-dye is extra gross when you look at it used like, ugh. Right. These clothes will make somebody very happy. <laughs> I think I caught a sneak peek of something. I saw something. There's something big and in a weird box. Uh, is it good? I don't know. I caramba. Ew. It's a, it's a lemonade set that never sold at a 
garage sale that it should have sold at. Some dirty doilies. A spoon. Uh, so here's like some kitchen stuff. Nasty tooth toothbrush holders. Oh, just just another another grossy josy pile. You know? And, and, and that's the majority because honestly, if people were like, who would leave a million dollars or, you know, uh, a thousand uh, standing liberties like, you know, on the show Storage Hunters, that's a BS. That doesn't happen. That's why we hunt. That's why we call it a hunt. When you hunt, you don't always find. You have to hunt. And the harder you hunt, the more you find. And we do find great stuff, but you got to take your shots. It's like... uh you know, Rocky Balboa says, you know, you got to take the hits and, and keep on standing and keep on moving forward. That's how winning's done. So sometimes you take the hits on these lots and you spend your day. Wow, this one's about 75 pounds of vintage jackets. And I'm taking a nasty, gross. Like, Yep, so the alarm went off for somebody else. They sold a bunch of units at this place, so every unit that they sold, people coming to get them or access are apparently having the same problem. Okay, so nasty bedding. Uh, yeah, that's just disgusting. Some fake gold jewelry pieces. Eh, nothing really. Who knows? Looks like new clothes in a bag. All gross, all getting donated. You know. If they can sell those things, make a couple of bucks and keep people working, I'm happy. Okay, next box. Let's look in here. Ooh, a Sydney Sheldon book. That's worthless. So a bunch of textbooks in here. Uh, a bunch of just junk books. Nothing good, nothing vintage, nothing cool. So just a bunch of sweaters and crap again. Again, another 60 plus pounds of clothing, so disappointing. We could use tables right now, so actually the table's not that bad. I'll use this. That's about a $20 bill right there, and I'll use it. Okay. These things are wretched. They're from a bygone era when people used to read magazines while on the toilet instead of their cell phones. idea what this box is, but it is loaded with U-Haul trans coolers, so who knows, and a whole bunch of these brake control adapters, towing accessories,
It, it looks like almost like it came from a U-Haul store, which is really weird. It's a U-Haul option, so who knows? We gotta have some fun with this and find some fun stuff. Oh, here's a picture of nothing. nothing. Yes. That's a, that's a peachy frame. Look how peachy that frame is. That's really peachy. Put that against my orange uh, shirt. Very peachy. Yeah, so it looks extra peachy. <laughs> All right. So these little chairs and a little play table right here. I'll just donate these. Some little kid can sit on them and use it. Okay, that looks like some junk furniture. So I'm gonna test this little, little end table. It's kind of just flimsy, so I'm just gonna probably just goodwill it. Let them make a couple of bucks or whatever. Okay. Keep looking. Guess what it is, Carly? Clothes and towels. More clothes, yes. Uh, Pillows and clothes. Disgusting. Okay. Oof. I'm gonna kick it this way this time. Yeah. Look, we have parts convenient so we can carry on. Load up all the junk and drop it off at the goodwill. Alright, another one that's just gonna be closed. Yeah, it's these weird U-Haul things again. Oh. So like, again, like trailer towing mirrors. Just a whole box of these. Like, That's so they look like they retail for 10 bucks. So I mean, if if we put them online at five bucks, you know, um, wow. There's like 40 of them in here. So what'd we pay, 200 for the unit? Yep. We have two boxes here, about 40 in this box, about 20 in that box. So we have about 60 of these things. If they're selling on there for 10 and we sell them for five a pop, we made 300 bucks on this unit. So not too bad. And there's still some interesting things in here. Let's see a couple of board games, premium. Nobody cares about that. Some stupid lamp, nobody cares about that. I'll go to the donations goodwill pile. What is this? A giant cast iron cooker Gross. from like a million years ago. What is mm. in there? What were they cooking? Jeez. Burning something. Did a more witch like... own that? Like what what the hell? Like, oh my god, that's this thing is about 50 pounds too. I could like use this as a buckner if like if I had like a sword or something. I feel like I could like stop arrows with this thing. Damn, that's a listener. Super heavy. All right, let's look. What else is down here? Oh, I found a unicorn. Oh, There's a unicorn. Cute. You know, get a close color. up. Everybody loves it. Oh. Okay. Zingo. More games. More games. Trash. More for the goodwill. Yeah. Okay, there's just this wood thing here. It's in the big box. All right. Weirdly enough, here's here's another box of these towing hitch attachments. These say that they're twenty seven ninety five for one, and I got about twenty of them in this box. So, I mean, if I could sell these for ten bucks a pop, that's in, that's two hundred bucks right here. 200 plus 300 right there. We're about 500 bucks right now. Wow, look at this. I've never seen anything like this in one of these weird storage units. There's all heavy duty towing supplies here. Like, seriously, like crazy heavy duty towing supplies. This, this box is about 100 pounds, and there's about 30 of these heavy-duty towing units in here. 
And I don't know what these suckers are going for, but I would say that's that's probably at least a ten or twenty dollar bill. Um, yeah, I bet you I can put these online for ten with like twenty shipping or something like that. Probably sell them all day. Wow. So that's crazy. Very interesting. Very weird that that's what was in there. Okay. So this is another junk table. Wicker. Nobody likes wicker. Wicker can contain like nasty things or bugs or anything. Cool little piece of glass. Okay, so. Like the other ones, a whole nother box of towing supplies, towing mirrors, and other things. So that, I mean, that's super interesting. Maybe we can find somebody to trade all of them to that has some type of towing company or something like that. But that's pretty cool. Um, looking back behind this one, I don't know if you can see, come on in here. Uh, there's a whole nother box of them. Endurance RV vehicle side. It's, it's, it's the electric kits for all the towing. So again, look in there. There's like 30 or 40 of those. If, if that sells for, you know, 10 bucks, five bucks a pop, that's 200 more dollars, okay? So that's wicked. Okay. I don't know what this thing is. Some, something for measuring, which is, I have no idea. So we're just going to put this right here for now. Okay. This is some type of uh, another measuring device. FMS, functionality, movement. I don't know. I, I'm not sure, but these two go together. I'm, I'm going to guess it's probably something tow related since there's so much towing equipment in here. It's almost like they had a store of, and they sold this towing equipment just because there's so much. Okay, here's the last box, and I was pretty interested just to see what this was, because this is pretty dang cool. Uh, ice cold singles. So, I think it's upside down. Hold on, let's flip it. Whatever it is, it's brand new. Because it still has the plastic film. And it's ice cold singles. So it's some type of like beer selling vendor uh, apparatus. So you put your beers in there. I have no idea what this thing's worth, so I'm gonna have to get that thing checked out by one of my friends that know about this or try to look it up best I can on Google. So I have no idea what this thing's worth. Um, very interesting. Uh, who knows, maybe I got like a hundred bucks here. So if we're looking, you know, we spent about $200 on this unit plus about, you know, it's gonna take us about two, three hours, four hours, dump all this stuff, gas in the in-between. So we spent right at around $300 for this unit. Um, I don't even know what all of this stuff's worth, but I have so much of it that if it's worth $2 a pop, I've made well beyond uh, the money of the unit at $300. I've probably made close to five, $600 plus sell this. Maybe it's 100, maybe it's two. So I'm gonna wrap it up after everything's done and we're able to sell it all and I junk everything else and take it to the Goodwill. I think me and Carly are gonna make about six, 700 bucks on this unit. So nothing too exciting, no gold, no no old antique pistols um, but again this is a realistic look at what happens when you uh, buy one of these units or enter into one of these auctions and win 
All right, Super Pickers fans, here's the wrap up. So we spent about $210, maybe about $20 gas, so about $230 to do this whole pick. It took us a few trips to the Goodwill and a few trips to the uh, shelter to get rid of all of the clothes and the homewares, which we always donate. And what was left was a plethora of truck towing and hitches and towing supplies and it's all new stock and we've been researching the prices on this stuff so we're really excited uh these ball pins over here go for about 60 bucks each online so even if we quick sell them at 30 i have 16 of them over here that's 480 dollars the accessories over here are in the 20 to 30 range and we have about 60 of them so we have about 1200 dollars right here uh, these accessories here are in the 20 to 10 range and we have about a hundred of them so we have a pretty good clip of money almost 2,000 on a slow sale or maybe a thousand on a quick sale right there then in mirrors right here these sell for 20 and we have about 50 of them so even if I quick sold them at 10 bucks a pop that's a $500 pile that's a $2,000 pile that's a thousand dollar pile and I have 500 in hitches right there. So if you add all that up, that you know, we have the potential on a quick sale, just rounding out the number and always reducing down for quick sale of making four to $5,000 on this, making it an awesome pick filled with unexpected treasure. And uh, I'm just excited for the next one and I'm excited every time we do this and it's an awesome and fun hobby and I love it and I can't wait to film the next episode for you super picker fans i'm sal and i'll see you on the next one